How's it going everybody? This is Always back with another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automate a deployment process to App Store Connect without going to Xcode. Now, before I show you the solution, I want to tell you the problem. The problem is that if you want to make a build for your iPhone application, you will have to open Xcode and what you will do is go and click on archive. But before you do that, you got to make sure that you are on generic iOS and there's a tedious build process that you have to do every time you make a build. Now, if I click on archive, it's going to make an archive for this and open up another window, which basically helped me to upload uh, a build to App Store Connect. Now, all this is good, but it gets very tedious if you are going to do this manually. Now, I want to show you how you can automate this process using a command line tool called Fastlane. I'm going to take you to the website and here it says app automation done right. And I've tested it in many, many of my projects and it works great. I'm going to take you to docs and here you got to use this brew install fastlane. So I'm going to open terminal and I'm going to type brew install fastlane. A brew is like homebrew package manager for Mac. You got to know about this. You got to have to install that. Now, once I uh, type brew install fastlane, it's going to take some time and then it's going to make sure that it install Fastlane. So once it's done, then I'll show you the next process, how you can set up uh, some of the workflow that are very, very easy to do and very helpful to save time as well. So I'm going to pause the video once this is done, then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so it says Fastlane 2.149 is already installed, which is good. So now let's go back here. Now I'm using uh, PyCharm and basically this project is in uh, one of the folder that I can directly go via terminal, but here's a terminal I'm already in. Okay. So shouldn't be a problem. So what do you need to do now? It's an Ionic project. Just go to your iOS project. So I'm going to do CD iOS slash app. Okay. Now here I'm going to use fastlane init command. This will initialize Fastlane for me and it's going to set up some of the things for me. So basically it will automate a beta distribution to test fly. And I'll, I won't have to do all those tedious tasks that you do through Xcode. So it's setting it up. I'm going to pause the video again and then show you what's it's done. Okay, so now once you do Fastlane in it, it asks you ambiguous choices. So basically it's saying, Hey, what do you want to do the fast end for? What do you want to use it for? So you want to automate screenshots. You want to automate beta distribution to test flight or automate app store distribution or manual setup. So what I want to do is select number two. So I want to automate beta distribution to test flight. Press to enter. And now it's going to set up everything for me. And once this is done, then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so the next step, it's asking me my Apple ID, which I'm going to type. Okay, now it's going to ask me for the password. And then I'll do this verification, six digit code, which is so anytime you log in with your Apple account, if you have a two-way authentication or I don't know what this authentication should call but if you have that enabled then you will get this now it says uh, it's doing all this it's stuff in a command line if you won't trust it you can go through this but I'm just waiting for this to finish the process okay so the process actually finished now what I did is if I go to iOS project I'm gonna take you to app and here we have a fast end folder. We have a file called fast file. I'm going to double click on that and let's take a look at what's in this file. So basically this is an entry point for your fast lane uh, script, I would say. Now here we have a default script created by fast lane. So it says lane colon beta do. So what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to increment the build number and also it's going to build the project and then it's going to upload to test flight. 
So all of these steps that you could do manually by going to Xcode, it takes some time and it's going to take pretty much like 15 to 20 minutes depending on your computer and your internet connection. But let's just say I don't want to go through that. I just want to run one script and I just want to do something else, not worry about this all this you know build process. So what I'll do now is first of all, let's take a look at the, what is the current uh, build number number one okay so if I open PyCharm again and I would like to run this script now so we're gonna go to terminal and I'm gonna type here fastlane make sure you are in the app folder or X Xcode project folder okay let me put it this way so fastlane and I'm gonna type the name of the script that I'm doing so beta so I'm gonna press enter now now, first thing, it's going to increment the build number. I can verify that in Xcode. So if I take a look at the build number now, I should be able to see number two now. Okay, that's good. So let's go back. Now, Fastlane is going to take some time because building a project probably be you know less time, but also it's going to archive that project and then upload that to the test slide. So once you run that script, be patient it will take 15 20 minutes but it will do our job it will it will take away all the manual tasks that we do so i'm just going to pause the video once this is done then i show you the app store connect which basically will have a second bill appearing here which you can deploy to test flight for the testing or you can even submit that to app store okay so I'm just going to wait for this processing to finish. I need to basically create the app specific password. OK, now if you are using Apple account, you logged in with it, but it won't still work. You need to have an app specific account. So to be able to do that, I'm going to show you how you can do it. So you go to Apple ID dot Apple dot com and then you hear you sign in. Once that is done, then and then here I'm going to say test flight. OK. And then once I get the password, I'm going to copy this password, go back and then paste that in the terminal and then press enter. Now, once that password is validated, then it's going to upload and it says this might take a few minutes. Please don't interrupt the script. So at this stage, we all good. Okay, so on the terminal, you can see it says waiting for the bill to show up in the bill list. This may take a few minutes. Check your email. I'm going to take you back to the app store connect, and here we can successfully see that the build we created using Fastlane version 1.0.0 and build number two. Now, currently, it is in a processing state. So yeah, you see all that tedious pass is out of your way now. You can just simply use uh, NPN script or actually you're going to have to create NPN script to be able to run this. It's really, really good. It makes it very easy to deploy new builds to the App Store Connect. If this video has helped you, then you can help me by donating. There's a PayPal link in the description of this video. And yeah, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Chase.